Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Springville, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. A little bit of dog hair. <laughs> uh, pan for colors and uh, my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. I think I'm going to do what I usually do <coughs> for my pan of colors. And add some Anita's white metallic that serves as a base and some water for me. And then, is that the color I want? No, I want some color shifting purple for flash from Folk Art. And I really don't want to squeeze it in too hard. I want to float it on the surface. This is some color shifting red from Folk Art. And I will add more of that as I need it. Need it. This is some Hot Orchid from Color Art. They don't make it anymore, but they do have new colors in the Prism Pores, so I suggest you go check that out. This is just some, um, some orange from Probably Master's Touch. Uh, yes, it's Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. Some Decorator Americana 24 karat gold. This is a Sergeant's Yellow, but it could be anybody's yellow with a little bit of orange in it. I'm hoping I have enough paint. I didn't use... This is just Anita's White Metallic with a little bit of pink in it to add a little more volume, shall we say. And since I've got this mica powdered, very hot purple, that's very similar to the others, I'm gonna add some of that. I'm really tempted to grab a little bit of this turquoise, which is called Cobalt Blue from Artist Loft. And since I like that so much, I'm going to take a chance and sink some of my Venetian blue. I don't know how this is going to be at all. I'm going to throw my colors aside for right now. I'm going to grab the Venetian blue. What I think is probably some Artist Loft Amethyst. And give myself something of a layer of paint up across the top of this canvas. I'm planning on doing this in a slightly different way than I have in the past. And as long as I have a wet layer of paint and my bits are covered, and I can always go back with the edges later, but I really want to get something on there right now. Sounds like the timer is going off in the other room. I'm really tempted by a little hot orchid in there. And maybe something else. So if I put this down first, it might keep the hot orchid light. We'll see if that's the way it works. What did I do with it? There it is. That seems kind of random. But I want something that's kind of random too. I think I might put some gold in there also. And I'm really tempted right now to put some, whoops, that wasn't good at all. <laughs> that was a paint bottle going over. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Aussie Flow Troll in Amsterdam Black with the white. Excuse me while I grab that bottle and hope it didn't spear a hole in my... Nah, it was upside down too. That was the Anita's White Metallic. Alright, so I have my abstract kind of random top. And most of my painting seems to be covered up there at that edge. Which is what I was looking, looking at. And now I'm going to give myself some green gold from Folk Art. Some Arteza Phalo, Phalo Blue Green that I've put Amsterdam, excuse me, that I've put uh, Iridescent Pearl Fine into. 
I have another color here of uh, the turquoise. I really want another color. Oh, I have a pastel green. That's a metallic from Arteza if it's open, which it doesn't seem to want to be. I'd really like that to be open too. Well, I've got some turquoise, which works out pretty nicely too, but give me a moment and see if I can find my tweezers. There we go. I'm going to have to clean those off. I just put a huge gob of paint on the end of them. I'm going to put some of this all the way along the edge. And I don't mind if I have any leftover colors at all. Take all my extra paint if I can. And for the moment, rub it into the bottom and the end of the edge edges. Grab a little more. I don't mind if I'm not 100% covered. I really don't because I expect other things to work also. I did want to experiment with dragging some marks up through. So that's what's happening right now. And I can use my extra paint to add some coverage that can go. I'm glad there's just enough paint on the bottom and the greens. Seems like. There we go. So I kind of like that without doing anything to it, which is weird, but any place that I see that I have any of that matte canvas left over, and I have paint on my spatula, there's nothing to keep me from just adding a new drag mark and creating some texture. And now I'm going to do what I was going to do, whether I like it or not, which is, wow, all my orange disappeared. No kidding. Check that out. I have no orange left. I need some orange. <coughs> That's better and maybe a little tiny bit more yellow. I'm thinking adding some white on top isn't a bad idea. That's still the Anita's white metallic. Now I'm gonna try. I had all kinds of different ideas on how to do this, but in the end, I just wanted a V shape for the flowers. Just a simple V shape, knowing I could, oh, lost one. Well, I don't have to. Good thing I use Gag 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures. I might uh, be very interested in taking a paint bold. I may be adding some dots, in other words. Just going to keep adding. I wonder. Yeah, I kind of like that. I could go through and do all of them and then tip. And I might be tempted to do. A few. Stylized stems too. No, I'm liking those colors a lot. This is probably too much paint to put some of it back before I get in trouble. I probably don't need that much. This is just the first time doing anything exactly like this. I don't mind if there's a few buds in there like so. I like the stripy character of it. I will be putting more of that green in there. I definitely like this a lot. It's super simple. It does make me want to tip though. 
tip or blow or drag or you could even do chain. And I'm still not done with the idea of dots. Although it might take me a few minutes to do enough dots. Whoa, that's my head and that's the camera. I'm so sorry, excuse me, please. I don't think I mind if I fill in. I know it's a really simple way of doing this, but I don't see why they need to be elaborate either. I've often just liked the heart-shaped flowers that I've seen. And there really is nothing to keep me from going in and adding some texture if I want to try and play with the texture. I can do that just by dipping my shovel in. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I really like the random neutral, natural, organic shapes. I have a little more paint than I need, which is too bad, but I guess it's not a big deal either. I figure the big ones can be fully <clears throat> extended somewhat. Maybe if I take the paint in my shovel I can add a few dots. They're a little messy right now, but I kind of love the color, so I'm not sure it really matters that much to me because the whole thing is a little messy. But there's no perfection in fluid painting that I'm aware of, so... <clears throat> Just having some fun and giving myself art therapy on a day. Dotting away. Sort of sacrilegiously. My color stayed nice and fresh. All right, so primitive though it might be, it's working for me. I'm loving that. All of it. If I wanted to go through and pull a few little leaves out, I could do that too. There. What do I want to do with that? I'm not sure. <coughs> I'm 100% yet. Nothing serious going on here, just having some fun, really. <laughs> Playing with shapes and colors. I'm loving that. Goodbye, bubble. 
much time do we have left? We've got a minute left. I should tell you guys, check under the video for my link tree where you'll find the Gallerist is the top link. That's clothing, exclusive clothing, expensive clothing, made in Montreal from my exclusive designs. There is also Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More. We'll take you to pixels.com and Fine Art America. Whatever I've forgotten will blend in there just fine. I am totally enamored of those colors. And that is a composition I am pleased with, to say the least. It doesn't have to be anything specific or hardcore and look like flowers. It just has to be beautiful, and I think it is. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check out some of my 2,200 videos organized by topic and genre on playlists. If you uh, are interested in helping support the studio to stay on YouTube, I really appreciate the donations. Thank you to everybody who's made a donation. And if you make a donation and there is a monthly drawing, you will be automatically included. You will know if there is a monthly drawing or not by looking on the end screen video of every video in the last 20 seconds. Yeah, I am. I'm adding a couple dots because I've got pretty colors in my dish and it's really hard to resist doing so, even if it's upside down. All right. <clears throat> what did I not tell you? Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Look for my paint pouring recipe and my cell activator recipe underneath the video. If there's anything that bothers me like that, I will continue to play with this just for a minute or two. I don't think it's going to change much. Okay, that's not working. Come on. Whatever, it'll go off in a minute. Um, if you have questions, please ask. My community board should show you tomorrow's video if I'm, if I'm on top of my game. My Amazon link is a place to shop where I make a tiny little insignificant profit, but after a while, it's, it adds up to something that helps me buy some art supplies. So if you decide you'd like to shop Amazon, anything you want on Amazon, you can start at my link and help me out, and I really appreciate it. Um, what can I tell you? Teespring clothing used to be Teespring. Now it's spring clothing. It's under the video. If you can't find what you're looking for, just ask me and I'll add it. And uh, same thing for FineArtAmericaPixels.com. I do sell original artwork and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. As soon as I'm 100%, I will. And um, where was I? <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's probably good enough for right now. You've heard it before. You'll probably hear it again. Let's zoom in and show some of those pretty colors. Just a field of flowers. A garden patch. I don't know, I'm still thinking. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Hope to see you anon. I post at 9.30 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time most nights. And uh, like I said, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'll get back to you if I can. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery out. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.